Hello guys, my name is Henry and welcome to another video and today we're talking about NFC, how it works, what it is and how we can use it in our daily lives. It's not wasting much time, intro. Okay, so for starters, NFC stands for Near Field Communication and as the name implies, it enables short range communication between compatible devices. So to have NFC actually working, you'd have to have one device transmitting the data and then the other one to receive it. So that brings us to the types of NFC devices. We have two types of NFC devices. We have the passive device and then we have the active device. The passive device, they are act and types of NFC devices that actually don't need any power source or the ones that we, the most common passive um, NFC devices we have are the programmable NFC tags and the ones we have are adverts tags and that kind of stuff. And then the active ones are the ones we have in our phones. So with this one, you can actually send and receive information through or data through your NFC tag. So the only difference, or the let's say the difference between the active and the passive is the passive you can only receive or send. That's like a one-way trip. But then with the active, it's a two-way trip. So you can send and then receive at the same time. So um, the way it works is with some phones, um, the NFC actually powers up your Bluetooth to share the um, files among the two compatible devices. So all you need to do is just touch the phones back to each other then boom we are gone like we've paired up your bluetooth and all that kind of stuff and then on samsung samsung actually lets the bluetooth the nfc turn on your wi-fi to send files faster they call it the sb but for android as at android 4 android 4 they had this system called android beam that allows you to share files over nfc but then on the Apple side, we don't have it. The only use of NFC on the iPhone is to pay stuff, wireless payments and all that kind of stuff in supermarkets and shops. You have the same thing on Android. That's Android Pay, now Google Pay, and then um, we have Samsung Pay also. And then you can also use it to uh, like pair to your Bluetooth speakers, like easy pairing to Bluetooth and compatible Bluetooth speakers, and then your smartwatch. In Africa or in Ghana here, most people I know don't have NFC compatible phones. They use maybe an Infinix, an iTel, or a Techno device. So with that one, you can actually get yourself a, a smartwatch that has NFC enabled or it's NFC compatible. You pair it with your phone. So with that one, you can still use your wireless payments with your grace like yeah thanks for watching and if you like this video don't forget to give me a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe if you already haven't and comment if you have any questions or any thoughts that you'd like me to know i'll stick around to reply and yeah you can also share this video or yeah you consider sharing this video and yeah once again thanks for watching see you guys the next one the most common passive and NFC devices we have are the programmable NFC tags and the ones we have on advertisements adverts, adverts.